Tonight, the Yankees and Mets faced each other 20 years to the day since New York City was attacked amidst an unthinkable assault on the United States. In the aftermath, baseball played a significant role during the healing process. Both teams comforted those who grieved for loved ones and provided whatever assistance they could to workers burdened with the heaviest of responsibilities. Their home stadiums became places where fans pushed the uncertainties of reality aside, wrapping themselves in the comfort of our national pastime. Crowds were given ample opportunities to let their emotions out while they witnessed historic moments, like a drive in Queens that felt as if it represented the resilience of all New Yorkers. And it's hit deep to left center. Andrew Jones on the run. This one has a chance. and a magical run in the Bronx that lasted until Game 7 of the World Series. There's Tino, one on, two out, pitch is swung on and drilled, the deep right center, it is high, it is far, it is gone! The Bam Tino with two outs in the bottom of the ninth, he drills a game-time two-run home run. And the 3-2 pitch, swung on and drilled to right field, going back Sanders on the track at the wall! Just the tying run with two outs in the bottom of the ninth. Now Kim 1-0. Swung on and hit in the air to deep left. That ball is high. It is far. It is good. I don't believe it. Here's Soriano. The winning run of the fifth game of the World Series. Now block at second. Hero status is right there for the taking. Swung on line drive to right field. That's a base hit. Charging is Sanders. Rounding third is now block. Here's the throw. Here's the play at the plate. He slides. He's in there. The Yankees win. They did it again. The Yankees win. And Knobloch is mobbed at home plate. Oh, my. Another miracle in the Bronx. An unbelievable Bronx tale. What a moment at Yankee Stadium. Two nights. Two dreams. Oh, my. The Yankees win again. On the first anniversary of 9-11, the Yankees unveiled a monument in tribute to the eternal spirit of its victims and its heroes. Two decades since that terrible morning, we continue to hold them in our hearts, as we always will. Everybody, it's great to have you with us on the WB Mason postgame. Bob Lorenz, John Flaherty, and Jack Curry with you. We'll talk a lot coming up about the Yankees getting an 8-7 win in Game 2 of the series. But first, it was a day of reflection, the 20th anniversary of 9-11, a day to remember in fresh ways the heroes, those who perished, and the way we all came together as one as a nation, something that's missing a little today, Jack. I agree with you, Bob, and I think the fact that you had New York versus New York on a baseball field 20 years after 9-11, I think that was a tremendous scheduling move by Major League Baseball to have that united front with the two teams who had to help try and bring New York back with baseball, give people some hope, give them a little bit of normalcy. We showed that Mike Piazza home run at Yankee Stadium from 20 years ago, and I covered that game. I have never covered a more emotional scene. There was tension, there was fear, but there was also a little bit of excitement and the hope that people would be able to smile. And I think that people on the Yankee side were eventually able to smile after tonight's victory. Yeah, 9-11 is such a tough day for so many people in this area, in this country, and, and today was no different, the 20th anniversary of it. But then you have Major League Baseball who got it right this time, right? It was Yankees-Mets, it was at City Field, a really good game, and when you watch the crowd and the excitement and the back and forth, it reminded you for all those years ago, the Mike Piazza home run and all of the emotions. So nice job by Major League Baseball, and. Nice job by the Yankees pulling out a win.